Hello everyone, welcome to Maths. Hope you all are fine. So let's start our today's class. Today we are going to learn multiplication of decimal numbers. Okay, so let's see how can we do the multiplication of decimal numbers. But before that start, don't forget to subscribe our channel and press the bell notification for the updates and like and follow our Facebook page. Okay, so let's start. So this is our today's question. You can see it's we have to multiply 3.07 by 1.5 and here you can see that both the numbers are decimal numbers so how can we solve this question let me show you so at first here you can see our first number is that is the multiplicand is 3.07 so instead of 3.07 we can write it as in this way is 307 okay without decimal point for solving the question solving the multiplication we have to write the number in this way okay without decimal point is 307 okay 307 and here is 1.5 so we can write it as 15 okay so 307 and 15 so what is the way to solve this multiplication question this is very easy at first you have, we will do the multiplication in this way without decimal point and then we will count the decimal places and we have to put the decimal point okay so at first let's do the multiplication do the 307 into 15 so at first 5 into 7 is 35 5 into 7 is 35 so we'll write 5 here so 3 become carry now the next is 5 into 0 5 into 0 is 0 so 0 plus 3 but we have to add the carry now 3 so 0 plus 3 is 3 so we'll write 3 here now we'll do the will multiply 5 by 3 so 5 into 3 is 15 so let's write 15 here okay now the next is 300 we have to multiply 307 by 1 but not 1 basically you will multiply 307 by 10 because 1 is at tens place so that means we will multiply 307 by 10 and 307 into 10 is 3070 okay so we'll write 3070 here 3070 now we will add these two to get the final product we have to add this to now so 5 plus 0 is 5 now 3 plus 7 3 plus 7 is 10 so we'll write 0 here and 1 become carry here okay so now we have to add the carry with 5 5 plus 0 is 5 so 5 plus 1 is 6 and now 3 plus 1, 3 plus 1 is 4. Okay, so this is our product 4605. But now we have to put the decimal point. So, how can we put the decimal point? You have to remember this that the total number of decimal places in the product is equal to the sum of the decimal places of the factors. Factors means these two the multiplicand and the multiplier 3. 0 0.07 and 1.5 so we have to count the decimal places first and here you can see the first number that is 3.07 here we have two decimal places how we have to count the decimal places from the right side okay so it's one two so you can see that after two places we here we have a decimal point so here it is the two decimal places got it and in this number here is only one decimal place okay so it's one decimal place so that means we have two plus one three decimal places okay so we have three decimal places now in the product let's count from the right side three de three decimal place and we have to put the decimal point so it's one two three and after six we have to put the decimal point okay so it's 4.605 and this is our answer this is our final answer got it in this way you have to solve the questions when you got the decimal numbers so now let me show you another example for example if you have a number like 4.3 into 0 0.02 then how can you solve this question very easy the same way at first you have to do the same way the multiplication it's without decimal point it's 43 4.3 we can write it as 4, 4, 43 and 0 0.02 we can write it as 2 okay 
So at first we'll do the multiplication without decimal point. So 43 into 2 is 86. Okay, is 86. But now we have to put the decimal point. So let's count the decimal point. So at first it's one decimal place. Here you can see it's four point in 4.3 we have one decimal place. And in this number we have one, two. So we have two decimal places. So that means we have two plus one. Here we have also three decimal places. So we have to put the point after three places in our product. But so let's count it. It's one, two, but we have only two places. So what do we have to do? Let's put a zero. We have to put a zero and then we will put the decimal point. Got it? So it's 0 0.086. This would be our answer. So it's 0 0.086. After decimal point, you can put a zero on the left side. Okay. So this is the answer. Hope you understand the multiplication of decimal numbers. So meet you again with a new class. Till then take care of yourself and bye-bye.